Thanks for checking out this console cabinet build. This is actually my longest video so far. Hope you enjoy it and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Even though it looks very basic, there's a fair bit of work in building this little cabinet. The timber uses Maranti. I'm sure in some places around the world it's referred to as Luan. Okay, let's get started. First thing I normally do is lay out all the boards on the bench, mark off any imperfections and figure out which combinations of boards will give me the best end result. I'm really not that concerned about colour at this stage as the finish will even out most of these tones and the boards will actually even out even further as they age. No fancy tools here folks, just some kids pavement chalk to mark out the boards with the cabinet maker's triangle before rough cutting in preparation for a glue up. All the panels were glued up using frontline clamps. For this project there is a top, bottom and four sides. Here's a quick demonstration of the way I use the frontline clamps to put these panels together. Once the glue up was complete, I removed the excess glue with a chisel plane and began flattening the boards with a drum sander. Now that the panels are nice and flat and glue free, I cut them down to their final dimensions.
Everything was given a second sanding with 120 grit sandpaper before I began cutting the joinery. All the joinery was cut with a Festool Domino. They are a huge time saver and really help with alignment. When testing out my joinery, I used dominoes that I have previously sanded and coloured in with a Sharpie. The cabinet sides were inset by about 2mm. The inside partitions were cut using the sides themselves for reference. This saves on marking out and ensures that everything is aligned. So editing software knows what these colours are. So you show the software. Finally time for glue up. The glue up was done in two stages, leaving the top for the second part of the glue up. Hip in legs couldn't be any easy to install. Just mark out a 20mm inset and screw the legs in place.
Now that the cabinet is complete, it's time for a final sanding with 240 grit, just to make sure everything is nice and smooth and to get rid of any remaining glue. Now it's time for finish. Here's a recipe I used. It's a blend that gives the penetration of oil as well as the protection of a surface finish. It's very easy to mix and apply, although it does take a little longer to dry. In total I applied 5 coats of finish using a foam roller, allowing about 12 to 24 hours between coats. After the final finish was left to cure for a few days, I gave it a protective coat of paste wax. I hope you liked following me along on this cabinet build. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really hope to share some more projects with you in the future.